Hey, John Cristani here. I'm here in Malibu where some of the world's most famous celebrities, movie stars, billionaires, and some of the world's royalty from around the world live. And this is where I bought my house. This is where I have a couple acres of property. I'm going to take you on a tour of the lands. And I decided to make a video on how to become successful. I've made tens of millions of dollars in my time. I'm a multimillionaire. I've been very fortunate on a scale and a level that is fairly uncommon. I'm also an internet teacher. I've taught tens of thousands of students. I've put lessons online about how to become successful. Upon teaching tens of thousands of students, I've learned a few things about why some students are very successful and some aren't. By the way, that's my truck right there, Tacoma. The vast majority of people who learn from my lessons about success are not successful. And I decided to make this video series, which I encourage you to watch, subscribe and make sure you hit the notifications to be informed of the new videos every day about the foundational elements to becoming successful in life. And it all starts right here. Start not with my glasses, with the mindset. I'm dividing this video series into a number of different parts. Oh, by the way, there's a bunny right there. This is one thing I love about the property. The first part is going to be about saving time. Because to become successful, you'll need to have time to actually spend to becoming successful. And if you're like anybody else in this world, your time is already accounted for each day. So here we are. Here's our little creek powered by that solar panel right there. We have just a little pond in this part. We built a little play set for my kids. Now you'll notice that a lot of the foundation, you know, is exposed and there's nothing left on this. And that's because uh, about a year and a half ago, in October of 2018, a fire came through and burned down my house. We had just bought a nice house out here and Three months after, a fire came through and ravaged everything. I thought I'd reached a point of success in my life where I was going to be able to chill, be happy, live in nature in a really nice area. We're planting some uh, pumpkins there. We have mint, tomatoes, we have some other fruits and vegetables over here. Up there are the horse stables. I'll take you over there in a second. But I don't know if it was a sign from my creator or a sign from somewhere else that said to me, basically, you're not done yet. You have more to do. Uh, one thing that brings me fulfillment is teaching what I've learned about success and making money to others. And it's not intuitive. It's not something that's taught in schools. It's not something that's taught by the parents in families that don't have enough. So there used to be some stables up here. This is where we'll be keeping some of our horses. And by the way, some of these properties are separated. That's because a year and a half we started buying adjacent properties that burned down and uh, just started expanding basically our footprint so we could have a full working ranch. Um, I grew up in the city, so one thing I've always desired was to have, was to live out in nature and to have horses, chickens, animals. But also I wanted to always be close to the city for reasons which I'll go over in this video series. Because it's important, especially in a city like Los Angeles where you have the world's wealth concentrated. It's one of those, I'm trying to keep snakes out, I've got to latch this thing. It's one of the things that can help with success. So as I said, the first part is about saving time. We all need time. There's some more horse stables right here. Also, you can see we have a lot of fruit orchards. The avocado tree, lime tree, there's an orange tree somewhere around here, some grapes. The second part is going to be about setting goals. Knowing what goals you need, what your goals are, is pretty important. But how you set goals will determine if you reach them. 
if you don't set goals properly and you don't understand the power of goals, you won't reach them. I've been able to reach my goals and I'll explain how that process works. Once again, a lot of it stems from here, the mindset. Now, I'm not smarter than anybody else. You know, I don't know technical things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not smarter than anybody else. I wasn't given any special circumstances which allowed me to succeed. And success. I've seen people all, all over the place have success. It's something that can be duplicated. I intend to teach you how to be successful. Many of my students have tried many ways to be successful. And even after taking my program, my educational program, they aren't successful and they've tried many more ways to be successful. And I've taken deep study and deep interest into why some people become successful and some people don't. By the way, that's the horse arena. As you can see, it's partially burnt down. But that's where the horses kind of run around. We don't have horses. We had only had the house for three months before, before it burned, so we were going to get horses, though. And there are some additional horse stables up there, as you can see. And right now we're walking on a horse trail that we built that goes down to the creek. It's called Malibu Creek. The third part is going to be about saving money. So we're saving time, we're setting goals, and then we're saving money. And the reason I set saving money after goal setting, this is where you're really going to have to make some hard decisions. You're going to have to make a lot of hard decisions when you're saving money in terms of adjusting your lifestyle. And setting goals, when you set the goals correctly, it will help motivate you to go through with the changes that will need to be made to save money. Saving money is going to provide the fuel, the raw power, to help you be successful in life. Some of you may not have a laptop. Some of you may not have any money saved up. And money, once again, is fuel to create your freedom. It's fuel to create additional income if you know how to use it. So, basically, it's a prerequisite. But you need to be motivated to save money because it's not easy. And then the fourth unit of this will be about making money. But making money is actually the least important thing because making money comes naturally if you do the first three things right. It's still important, but from what I've seen, and for those of you that have followed me for quite a while, I know I have a number of subscribers. Sorry, the trail's a little overgrown. As you see, the the weeds have been growing quite a lot lately. It's the summer. So making money, I've talked a lot about on this channel. But I'm going to go over some new things uh, in this unit that relate more to mindset. That relate more to strategy. Because I've talked about a lot of tactics. But the, the fact of the matter is, is that 99% of people who watch my videos, I've measured it, don't do anything never even are motivated to do a single thing after watching my videos, even after given specific actionable advice on how to make money online, which is the way I made money, by the way. So that's what we'll be going through in this video series, and I invite you to go through it with me and enjoy and use this as a chance to re-refresh yourself and retrain your brain to seek success and to create success for yourself rather than to go through an endless loop of failures that will always keep repeating itself if you keep the wrong mindset. Now this is one of the parts of, well this is the horse trail as it winds down. There's a bunch of switchbacks that won't take you on, but it winds down to the creek over there. This is one of my favorite spots to enjoy the sunset. As you can see, everything's brown right now. It's the summer. Everything's dry in Malibu. But it's gorgeous. And I love the color of the mountains. And I love the color of the sun setting and the rolling hills that you can see beyond. 
And out here, what's amazing is that only being 20 minutes from the largest city in the entire United States, we also have the ability to see shooting stars up in the sky every single night. Coyotes, deer, mountain lions, skunks, everything is on my property. And it's really amazing. So I invite you to join the journey. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you enable notifications uh, to indulge in this fun educational lesson and the fun educational series that I'll be putting out. Enjoy. Looking forward to have you as part of the journey. And comment below if you're going to be joining me in this fun series. Have a good one. John Cristani here. Love you all.